What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review chapter 30 of The Promised Neverland. Once again, I gotta bring this up. Norman isn't dead. He is not dead. We didn't see him die or anything like that. Of course, we're supposed to assume that, but nope, my theory still stands, all right? Norman is now working for HQ. He's now part of the whole system and stuff like that because there, there's pretty much a hint. Because Isabella said that she is going to, you know, keep Emma and Ray until they reach their full potential. Why ship out Norman now? Why not let him reach his full potential like Emma and Ray? Perhaps it's because Norman has reached his full potential so fast that he is worthy to work alongside William Minerva at HQ. We did not see Norman die. We saw him get promoted. Honestly, that's the only possible outcome, really. Like, there, uh, well, of course, besides, you know, him dying. But it's just so obvious to me that he isn't dead. But if you don't think that he's working alongside William Minerva or is working with HQ at all, what do, what do you think it is that Norman is doing? With the majority of the chapter, we get a lot of focus on Emma, and I'm really happy that we did because Emma doesn't get too much focus. Emma, she does not want Norman to leave. She still sees an opening. She still wants to try so very hard to make sure that they can all escape, but Norman still sees it that, no, this is the only option to save everyone without any risks. So Emma goes in, takes the device, the, the, the device that will turn off the trackers. She takes that, she goes in to hug him, makes it look like that she's saying goodbye and stuff when really she whispers into her, his ear saying, uh, you go make a run for it, I'm gonna distract mama. And she's like about to use the device on Norman, which would've been really bad because it's only for one time use and they only have one of those devices. So ooh, I kinda don't wanna use that right now. So luckily uh, Norman pushed her out of the way and it could've been really bad because Emma looked like that she was about to slam her foot into the ground and make the injury worse. So Norman pretty much put his foot down before Emma did and told Emma, uh, that no, you gotta stop being so reckless, this is how it's gotta be. And then Isabella was being pretty scary, going up to Emma, being all like, if you make a ruckus like that again, I'll kill you. Like, oh my lord, wow, okay. Like, she didn't even just say that, she said, I will definitely kill you. Like, hot damn, okay. Isabella is a very interesting character. Honestly, she's definitely twisted and warped in a way, because what really gave me that impression was. When Norman asked Isabella if she was happy, and she smiled and said yes. And I'm just like, wait, in this situation that you are in, killing children day after day, working with these demons, you are happy? You are happy with this world? You are happy with your lifestyle? You are truly happy? This has to be the work of grandma, honestly. Grandma has definitely done something to Isabella, make her think in twisted ways, and it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. We know that grandma and Isabella are planning something on the side to impress HQ. We don't know exactly what that is. I mean, I guess it's to probably be one of the few farms that actually can produce 12 year old children brains. But it seems like that there is much more to it than that. It's hard to say since, you know, we haven't had too much focus with grandma. But we know grandma has been there for Isabella for the longest time. Uh, I think grandma even like raised Isabella over in like the previous plantation. It, it, it's hard to say really because we only got one panel of that that makes me think uh, that could be the case. But anyway, I don't want to jump too far ahead here. Ray pretty much gave up when it came to saving Norman. And now they gotta figure out what else to do next, you know? I mean, they know what to do next. Plan is uh, how ready are they? to put this new plan into fruition. Emma doesn't seem like she'll be ready anytime soon. I'm not talking about physically, but mentally? 
She's probably gonna be down in the dumps for a really long time. So we're probably gonna get a few chapters without Norman just to give us a little bit of suspense, but I guarantee you he will return. And I'm sticking with my theory, God damn it. So let me know your theories. What do you think happened to Norman? And catch me later as I review Little Witch Academia. I'm your female Otaku, Sayonara.